Now we have the concept of what you mean by speed and velocity. See among distance and displacement, distance was one of scalar, displacement was a vector. Now among speed and velocity, speed is nothing but scalar and a velocity is a vector quantity. Among that first let us discuss completely what you mean by speed and its types. Before going to speed, let me take a simple example. We all very well know that once we friends, we are sitting at some place you just think, a person with a bike goes very fast. So what will be our one of our friends comment? Our friend will comment that, look at that, how speed he is moving. If he tells only that much, that comes under speed to be a scalar because he is just mentioning the magnitude, a speed, but he is not telling me the direction. For example, if a friend tells that, look how fastly he is moving towards east, that gives you both magnitude and direction. So that becomes what you mean by velocity. It's the only difference between the speed and velocity is speed has only magnitude but no direction, but velocity has both magnitude and direction. So one by one, let us discuss now what the now first let us discuss the speed completely. Look at the speed here. What do you mean by the speed? The speed of the body is the rate of change of distance with time. What it is? Rate of change of distance. Distance with respect to time, if anything changes, that becomes what? That is speed. Since distance is a scalar quantity, we know where it is. Obviously, the speed also will be the scalar quantity. How do we mathematically represent speed? Mathematically representing of speed is nothing but distance by time. What it is? Distance by time. And we know that speed is denoted with the letter V. Distance is denoted with the letter S. And time is denoted with the letter T. That we can tell that V is equal to S by T. And this is the formula to find speed, that is speed is equal to distance by time. But if sometimes they give in your numericals that, they give you the speed and time, but you need to ask you to find the distance. Sometimes they will give you the distance and speed, sometimes you need to find what is the time. But how do you change the formula? That is very easy. So one easy method I will just tell you that, to follow that, remember this triangle. Here we have speed, here we have distance, here we have time. Whatever the thing you are finding, just close it. That gives you the formula. For example, the first one I am taking you. Look here, I want to find the speed. I am just closing the speed. If I close yes, what is the formula? D by T. That is distance by time. Understanding? The second one, if I want to find the distance, I am closing the D. So what is the formula? S and D. That is, distance is equal to speed into time. Very easy. Now, the third formula. I need to find what is time. What is the formula? Time is equal to, it is distance by speed. Look at how easy it is. If you know one formula easily, you can write the other. If you want to still remember, make use of this so that you will not get confused at all. Understand? Now, we will know that speed is a speed is denoted with the letter P and it is a scalar quantity. What it is? It is a scalar. It is a scalar quantity. Now what is its SI unit and CGS unit? Even that is very important. What is its SI unit and CGS unit? How to find units? Now what is the unit of this things? Speed is equal to nothing but distance by time. First of all we should know what are the units of distance and time. So what is the unit of distance? Distance is usually measured in meter, in SI. What about time? Time is usually measured in second. Therefore, SI unit is nothing but meter per second or even you can write mass in this one. Now what about its CGS unit? You already know, SI unit of distance is meter, CGS unit is centimeter. Yes, this is centimeter. But what about times? Time is always the FPS, MKS, CGS.
CGS this side, it will be where it is what? Second itself. Then for the CGS unit is centimeter second or even you can write centimeter per second. Did you understand the definition of speed? The speed of a body is the rate of change of respect with the distance with respect to the top time. Mathematically we write speed is equals to distance by time. Speed is denoted with the letter B, distance is by S and time in T. Remember, if you put just an hour mark, it becomes displacement. Why? It is a vector point. But distance is denoted. No doubt distance is also S, displacement also S. But in some situations, they consider distance to be small d. Even that is correct. Usual for our rotation, sometimes we can take distance to be small d and displacement to be always s, even that is correct. But no doubt, s is also can be considered for distance. If you just put an arrow mark, it becomes displacement. So, this and by this, we you understand this is a very easy way to write all the three formulas. Whatever things you need to find, just close it. That formula will be given to you. This you should have been done in the case of ideal of distance and time in your sixth standard mathematics also. Understand? So this is a complete essay. It is very important. CGS unit, and since it is a scalar quantity, it is the complete thing of speed. Now we have some types in the term of speed. When do we consider uniform speed? When do we consider non-uniform speed? When do we consider instantaneous speed? All those are what you mean by average speed. Everything we have. So all those are simple if you understand once what the speed is. Now first let me explain you what is uniform speed. What is uniform speed? Look at here. A body is said to be moving with a uniform speed. When a body is said to be moving with a uniform speed, when if it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, what should a body do? It should cover equal distance in equal intervals of time. For example, think that a bus just for time being. Think it as a bus, don't laugh towards it. Okay. So now this bus is me going from Bangalore to Hyderabad. Think that it is going from Bangalore to Hyderabad. Just for a practical thing, let us understand the distance between Bangalore and Hyderabad is nearly 600 kilometers. What it is? 600 kilometers. Now, for two hours. For 2 hours, first 2 hours, bus is covering 200 kilometers. Understood? Next, for the next 2 hours, the bus again is covering 200 kilometers. Understand? Again, for the next 2 hours, bus is covering 200 kilometers. So finally, what was the distance actually? Distance was how much? 600 kilometers. Now, from Bangalore to Hyderabad. Now, how much the distance is travelled? 200, 200, 200 gives 600. What was the time? 2 plus 2 plus 2. Total is how much? 6 hours. So, the bus has reached from Bangalore to Hyderabad in 6 hours, covering a distance of 600 meter. But, come back to the definition. A body is said to be in a, moving with a uniform speed. When it is moving, does now our question arises? Does the bus from Bangalore to Hyderabad was moving in a uniform speed? If S or no, let us find out this. Look at that. If it covers equal distance, is it covering equal distances of 200, 200, 200 km? But is that only enough? No. With what? Equal distances in equal intervals of time. What was the equal intervals? 2 hours, 2 hours, 2 hours. Therefore, we can tell, since it is covering equal distances in equal intervals of time, the body, the bus which was moving from Bangalore to Hyderabad is moving with a uniform speed. Understand what do you mean by uniform speed? A body should cover equal distances in equal intervals of time. Then we will consider that body is moving with a uniform speed. I hope you have understood. Next, in knowing that, let us go for what we mean by non-uniform or variable speed. It's just a reverse way of uniform speed. If a body covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, it is called as what? Uniform speed. Now, if a body covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time, it is nothing but non-uniform or variable speed. See, non-uniform also we can call, otherwise it is the other word is variable speed. Variable means what? It is keep on changing. Now, let us see an example. Sorry, the definition. The body is said to be moving with non-uniform speed 
if it covers unequal distance in equal intervals of time. Again, let us take the same example of bus moving from Bangalore to Hyderabad. Bangalore to Hyderabad, the bus is being moved. Let us consider. Let us keep with same see, unequal distance in equal intervals of time. Let us consider two hours, two hours, two hours. But in this case, for first two hours, it has moved with two hundred kilometer. For the next two hours, it moved three hundred kilometer. For the next last two hours, it moved hundred kilometer. So totally two hundred, three hundred, five hundred plus hundred, six hundred. No doubt the distance between Bangalore and Hyderabad is six hundred kilometers. The time taken also was six. But the question is that. Does the bus does the bus was moving with a uniform speed or not? How can we find that it is moving with a uniform speed or not? Both the distance and time should be of same. What it is being covered? But here two hundred two hours okay. But the next it it had covered at first two hours it covered covered two hundred kilometers. At the next two hours it covered how many kilometers? Three hundred, which is not same as the before. And for the next two hours it has covered hundred kilometers. Therefore here. A body is covering unequal distance. Look at here, 200, 300, 100. It's totally unequal distance in equal intervals of time. It is nothing but what we mean by non-uniform or variable speed. Understood? I hope you have understood now what we mean by speed and the basic unit of speed, mathematical representation of speed, and what we mean by uniform speed with example and what we mean by non-uniform. Speed or variable speed with example. Next, we have what we mean by instantaneous speed and average speed. The next type of speed what we have after seeing that is known as instantaneous speed. Just now we have seen what we mean by what it is: uniform speed and non-uniform or variable speed. The next type of speed what we have is instantaneous speed. See this instantaneous speed is nothing. That before going to the concept, I will give you an example. Just take an example here. Think that you are moving in a car with your father. You are moving in, for example, a crowded place. You just think that a crowded place. So how we will car will be moving? Think that from your home it has started. From your home, a car has started with a speed of nearly twenty kilometer per hour. Next, keep on moving. It had a very crowded place. Suddenly, what happened at this instant? For example, think that 20 km per hour it had moved from your house to crowded place. Suddenly, here the speed decreases to 10 m per second or km per hour. It is going to 10 km per hour. Then later again it had moved and again it started to go in 20 km per hour with the speed of 20 km per hour. Again. You went and you have found some humps, a road humps you have seen. Suddenly, at that point of time, by applying a brake, by applying a brake, your car speed comes down to maybe ten kilometers per hour. So, by this we we are understanding that at each and every time when we are getting some barriers in the road, our speed is getting low. This type of now this ten kilometer of speed. Think that at some 15 seconds of time, this 20 kilometers of speed again started moving in 20 seconds. When we check, when we check our car speed over here, at the 20th seconds it may show 20 kilometers. Suddenly, when the arms come and your father applies a brake, at maybe 30 seconds, what is the speed showing by your speedometer? It is showing a needle of 10 kilometers per hour. You are understanding. So this is the speed. To mention what we mean by instantaneous speed. Now let us come to the definition. See here, when the speed of a body keeps on changing. Here in this case, we have taken car. Your own car, you are sitting next to your father. Keep moving. Keeps on changing. Its speed at any instant is measured by at speed. Its speed is keep on changing. But still, how can we find the speed at particular instant? Is finding the ratio of the distance. Traveled in a very short time interval. Now, what is the distance at that time we have traveled? To that time interval, this speed is known as instantaneous or instantaneous speed. Did you understand? At that part of time, 
let it be of distance of anywhere. At that point of time, what is the speed shown by your speedometer? That is the instantaneous speed of a vehicle. It may be keep on changing. For example, if you are moving in a highways, for probably it may not change for a very long time unless you get some barricades or tolls. But when you are moving in a market, you think that you are going in a bike at least. For every time you are not able to predict that because of what the uh, what speed shown by your speedometer will be the instantaneous speed. I hope you have understood. So we have a formula for instantaneous speed is nothing but distance travelled in a short time by time interval. At the short time, what was the distance and what was the time interval at the time will give you the instantaneous speed. And here there is a note, see that the speedometer is of a vehicle. Its speedometer is a device of a vehicle which measures the instantaneous speed. We all very well know that. We all have seen a speedometer of a vehicle. At every instant if you are going very fast, it shows nearly 40 km per hour. The meter will be at 40. Suddenly the house comes. We will apply a break. Suddenly it reduces to what? 20. Nowadays the speedometer is also in digital. You might have watches and bikes. Ultimately it tells. If you need it, we know that we are not able to predict accurate. We have only 40, 20 digits. But in between we are not able to tell. But now if you are in digits, you can accurately tell it is 46 or 48 km per hour. Such type of speed is known as what you mean by instantaneous speed. Understood? Just now we finished what you mean by uniform speed, what you mean by non-uniform or variable. The third one is instantaneous speed. And the last type of speed what we have is known as average speed. This average speed is very much easy. Let us go with that. See, the ratio of the total distance travelled by a body to the total time of the journey is called as what you mean by average speed. See, for example, in the case of uniform and non-uniform, I have given the example of bus which has been travelling from Bangalore to Hyderabad. Is it not? This is Bangalore to Hyderabad. What is the distance I have taken? Distance to be how much? It is 600 km. And what's the time taken by the bus to reach? It's known as 3 hours. Or sorry, they have taken 6 hours of time. Now, this is the total distance and this is the total time taken by a bus to reach from Bangalore to Hyderabad. Now, what is the average speed of the bus? What is the average speed? Average speed is nothing but See, total distance traveled. How much is the total distance? It is 600 km. What is the total time taken? It is 6 hours. So, 6. So, what is that speed is? This average speed is 100 km per hour. Understood so what was the average speed at the time? It is average speed. In which average speed it had moved from Bangalore to Hyderabad? It is 100 km per second. Understand? See, average speed is in between it may have take a break or bus had stopped for 5 minutes. That all we doesn't care. What was the final destination and what is the time taken? For example, in this final distance always remains constant. Why? The distance between Bangalore and Hyderabad never changes. But think that once a bus had taken 7 hours, at that time what happens? Divided by 7. The average speed changes. The average speed is always total distance traveled by total time taken. Usually, the total distance is remains constant between any two cities you could take. But speed and time is inversely proportional to each other. You must see this. This total time taken increases. That speed what? Average speed keep on decreases. Understand? If I take this 6 hours to be 7 hours, what happens? It is no more 100. It's more than that average speed what? Speed decreases. Means it comes less than 100. Understood? This is mean by what you mean by average speed. Hope you have understood the concept of what you mean speed. It's SI units, it's a scalar quantity and types of uniform variable instantaneous and average speed. With knowing much, next let us move to the velocity.